भीतर my best part <laughs> Father, we thank you. Our Lord and our God will give you all the praise. We are grateful to you. We are back to say thank you. We are back to worship. We are back to magnify you. We are back to say thank you for all that you do for us. Thank you for our yesterday. Thank you for our today. And thank you for a bigger and a better tomorrow. Thank you, King We are here to say thank you for our nation, Nigeria. As a point of contact for the nations of the world, we bless your holy name. Israel, we are back to say thank you for our various families. Thank you. We are grateful. Thank you. We are thankful thank you. because we are blessed. Thank you. We just celebrated our 62nd independence anniversary. We are very grateful. We are thankful. So God be the glory. Mr. President led us in Thanksgiving last week when he made a list of the achievements of government, we are very, very, very grateful. Give Thankful to God for Jesus. all that he has done we give you all the glory and for and that which he shall yet do. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Of course, there will always be mixed reactions while the radio and TV were asking questions about views about the nation. Some were grateful, some were not. Some said they had nothing to celebrate. But we are here to say we must give him the praise. We must give him all the glory. Ukraine is at war. It came suddenly on them. We pray for God's continued intervention. That is the scenario that the enemy had planned for us in Nigeria since 2015. Each day we woke up, we were like, ah, what will it be like the following morning? But it has pleased God to sustain us, to keep us, to help us. 
And so we felicit with Mr. President and the Nigerian government to say a very, very happy birthday to the nation, our most beloved nation. Thankful and grateful for that which God has done. And we yet continue to do. It is not easy to rule a whole nation of diverse ethnic groups, community, cultures, languages. languages. Pastor Magdalene, you are from Edo State. In Edo State, how many ethnic groups do you have? I think we have about, uh, if I'm not mistaken, about 250. In Edo State alone, 250 over. So you can begin to imagine in one state, not to talk of other states. So easy to rule? No. But by God's grace, we have come thus far. Even our various families, a family of two, a family of three, a family of four, five. You see how difficult it is to rule, not to talk of a nation. And so we must give God the praise. Yes. For our various families, we must give God the praise. praise for our children, Jesus. our husbands, our we wives, we must give God the praise. For the work that we do, we must give him the praise. Thank you so much. For the food we eat, we must give him the praise. Thank you so much. Lord. If you are able to eat only one, a day, maybe one zero zero or zero zero one or whatever the way they call it. Yeah, You've good. tried, God has tried because yeah, God said, good. Give us this day today our, our daily, daily bread. bread. Daily. But the problem is that we want storehouses, store not only storehouses, let them be rotting there. Mm -hmm. hey, then we know and that we have arrived. Team <laughs> <laughs> number good. 745 went upon like billows. When upon life billows. He says, When upon life billows, you are tempest and tossed. We are being tossed up and down in a lot of ways in our families, in our nation. There are times we are very, very discouraged. We don't know the way forward as individuals, as a family, even concerning our nation when you hear the news sometimes. And there are times you think it is all lost. But then, the great one comes in, he steps in, and there is a change. The scenario changes. Even the flood now we are talking about, we feel for those who are affected, and we pray God to immediately relocate you, set to you, and give you a new beginning. But it could have been worse. Because when you look at some countries like India and all, it came even with mud slides. Mud, not just water. But we are grateful, we are thankful because God has intervened and He continues to intervene in all areas of life. Amen. As security, all God will intervene. Amen. So when we think all, we're, all is lost, the songwriter, the hymn 745, When Upon Life Below, is a classic. He said, count your blessings. Count your blessings. Those of you that think that God has not done, just sit down and count. And you'll be amazed what God has done. Even in your life, my life, our families, let's count. But the problem is that some of us have porous brains. We forget too easily. We forget too, too, too easily. He says we should count our blessings. Stanza 2 say. Is there a load you are carrying? Is there a problem, a challenge? I've come to tell you that give it time. Time is a healer of wound. Time is a healer of, of troubles, of problems. At the end, you will agree with me that these two shall come to pass. That challenge, that problem you are going through, you are seeing, it will come to pass. It must surely, surely come to pass. Mm -hmm. He said, does the crown seem heavy you are called to bear? We are all called to take up our crosses. Some of them is very, very heavy. And we say, no, I can't take this. I can't take that. But we are back to say, count it. When you count your blessings, you receive grace and strength to continue. Okay. Grace and strength to move on. Grace and strength not to be tired, not to be weary. We must count. You must count, especially those of us that have good health. Everything okay. You don't know what God has done for you. 
But I tell you, if you remember when you had a, a boil, just a boil, you'll be, you'll be amazed where you go and feel the pain. And you say, no, 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 it's, it's not the boil, but it is the boil. The body is so interwoven that any part of the body that feels pain, the whole part, we feel the pain as well. We must count. I didn't really know how to be grateful for all my body anatomy until one day, like I've always told you, I saw in National Hospital on the board. That's um, Gwagwalada now. They wrote there, medicine for internal organs. I said, ah, it's true, internal organs. Then the biology I did several years ago came to play. So many parts of the body inside that we don't see, but they are functioning. The intestines, the lungs, the so many things. What shall we say than to say, Daddy, thank you? Than to say, Daddy, thank you. Thank you. Are you there? And perhaps you are on the bed and you are sick. Don't worry. Don't worry. Ecclesiastes. Nine four reminds us that a living dog is better than a dead lion. That your life means there is a bigger and a better tomorrow. I show you, you come out of that sick bed. Amen. I speak God's peace to your body system. Amen. I speak divine Amen. healing. Jesus. I should give him the praise. I should tell him thank you that you can talk, you can walk, you can move. Don't look at the body, look at what he can do. Like when Felix is saying in, our, in the background that there is nothing, absolutely nothing too difficult for God to do. Of course. When you give him praise, we will arise mm -hmm. and visit you. Mm -hmm. Stanza 3 is very interesting. It says when you look at others, you look at people with their wealth, thank God for the social media. But a lot of us, I want to let us know that if you use the social media to judge, you'll be amazed. And you miss it because all is not as it seems. Some of the husband and wife, you see, there's not as it seems because everybody is doing anniversary. They are doing. They say, ah, you don't know what is happening there. All the big boys and the big girls, you don't know what they do to make it. As we are being told now, you see a lot of things happening. And you youths, before I forget, there is this boy that is calling and crying say please heal me heal me heal me asking somebody to for forgiveness and the cross dresser finally answered this i didn't ask anybody to tattoo their body on me you know i used to wonder how you to tattoo their bodies and post on these people's um, um diagram um, uh, platforms it was when the cross dresser answered that i now knew what was happening they give them iPhone and they give them money. And the cross dresser, he or she will say, Ah, eh, Shebi, I've paid you. I already gave you 400,000. And the iPhone, so the rest is on your own. Somebody is there now crying in pain. If you see his body, it's like a skeleton. Because he said the instruments that they used to do the tattoo of the cross dress on his body has given him sickness. The sickness now, that 400,000 is gone. And the cross just I say, you're on your own. Don't go that way. All these celebrities, the things that they do, don't join them, leave them alone. Face your front, count your blessings. He you say, yeah, when you look at others, you look how they are doing, you say, you say, ah, paniko, paniko. Like <laughs> There's one young boy. I lost that, you, that Facebook account. Every day, you need to see the different kind of cars. He'll be showcasing, 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 showcasing. There's even one other young boy again that just showed himself. He said, me, I'm richer than all the big boys that are parading in Nigeria. He began to show his house. Mm -hmm. Don't follow them. Don't follow them. Be contented with what you have. So see, stanza 3 says, when you look at others with their land and gold, he said, remove your eye. Face your front. Life is torn by some. And you don't know how they made their money. Don't follow Thank God we begin to hear ritual killing. We begin to hear of Yahoo, Yahoo and all that. Don't go that way. You that do Yahoo, Yahoo and all those who are causing pain. You do people. You think that person will ever leave you. They'll be cursing you, cursing you for life. 
And that is why there are so many untimely deaths. Don't go that way. Don't look at others with their land and their gold. No. A good name is better. Nigeria is in need of leaders that will blaze the trail, that will show leadership by example. Resolve to be one. Don't choose to go the other way. No. He said, remember. Remember Jesus. I said Christ Jesus. And he will give you a peace that nobody can take from you. He said, count your many blessings. I like stanza for the last one. He said, so amid the conflict, whether great or small, is your trouble big or small? He said, don't be disheartened. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. In our nation, don't lose hope. Don't give up. Better, brighter days are ahead. Indeed, the government has tried. It's just that one small thing, you know, when one small thing, like I've said, all the body may be okay, but just one boy, the whole body will feel it. That is the scenario in our nation. They have tried. The run down by Mr. President is impressive. But just one thing, that insecurity wants to make it look like they are not doing anything. But God has intervened. Mm -hmm. The Egyptians will see, we see them no more. Jesus that means the challenges we see, we see them no, no more. more. They will hand over successfully. Amen. Nigeria will not scatter under them. Nigeria will not be a failed state under them. The As God has helped them and helped us, God will see them through. Amen. We pray for their success every day. That the changes we so desire within the twinkle of an eye, because there's absolutely nothing difficult for God to do. Amen. God will show himself faithful in the name of Jesus. He said, don't be disheartened. Don't give up. It's another opportunity. Let's say thank you first. Then when we say thank you, mm. more will come in. Amen. If you visit our YouTube channel, Church on the Air, under the Banner of Love account, Edit Atake, you see the messages that we loaded. There's one where we spoke about the, the, the different time, type of thanksgiving or complaints or murmurings. And God dispatched the angels accordingly. But when he came to praise those that were praising God, God was just shifting in his seat, shifting in his seat. He was sending the angels. Finally, he said, no, 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 I'll go myself. Hallelujah. And that's why the Bible says that God oh, inhabits the praises of his people. So inhabit the praise of his people means he is there, enthroned, sitting down on your praise, enjoying it. And there's no man, no boy, no girl that God is with that the enemy can touch. Amen. And so, hymn number 745. When upon life billows you are tempestuous, when you are discouraged, thinking all is lost, count your many blessings, name them one by one, and it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Mr. President did, and we should all do so in our own way, in our families. It says, count your blessings, name them one by one. Oh, yes, count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. Are you ever burdened with a load of care? Does a cross seem heavy you are called to bear? Count your many blessings, every doubt will fly. And you will keep singing as the day go by. Count your blessings, name them one by one. I count my blessings, see what That's God has done. done. I count my blessings, I name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord has done. When you look at others with their land and gold, think that Christ has promised you his wealth untold. Count your many blessings wealth can never buy. Your reward in heaven or your home on high. 
Count your blessings, name them one by one. I count my blessings, see what God has done. I count my blessings, name them one by one. And it has surprised me what the Lord has done. He says, so amid the conflict, whether great or small, do not be this hiding, God is over all. Count your many blessings, angels will attend. Help and comfort give you to your journey's end. You must count your blessings, name them one by one. I count my blessings, so that's all. Count our blessings, name them one by one, and it has surprised us what the Lord has done. In a nation, we must count our blessings, name one by one. Oh, yes, count our blessings, see what God has done. Count our blessings, name them one by one. And it was surprised us what the Lord has done. Psalm 30 verse 4. Psalm 30 verse 4 says, Sing unto the Lord and give thanks. Sing, give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. God has been good to us. He has been faithful. Psalm 69, 13. Psalm 69, 30 says, Praise the name of the Lord with a song and thanksgiving. You do not do well not to tell God thank you for Nigeria. You do not do well because by the agenda of the enemy, we ought not to be existing. We ought to be in the bush, but God has overruled and continue to overrule. Psalm 92 verse 1. 92 verse 1 says, it is a good thing, a good thing to sing to the Lord. A good thing, a good thing, a good thing. Even if your voice is one kind of sing, the frogs, all the animals, oh. God has ordained praising for himself. They are all praising oh. God. Join to praise him. Sing God. Join to praise him. Join to praise him. Psalm 147, 1, 7. Psalm 147, verse 1 and 7. Psalm 147, verse 1 and 7. says, Sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praise. Sing praise. Ephesians 5, 19 says, Making melody in your heart. Making melody. That means... You are eating, you are whatever. Don't let your challenges overrule you. Don't let your challenges overwhelm you. Don't let the things that are meant to be done in Nigeria to make you sad. To say you not thank God. No, 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 no. You do not do well. You do not do well. You do not do well. Give him praise. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Tell him thank you. And perhaps you have said negative words in the time past. Instead of saying thank you for Nigeria and for your family, your husband, your wife, your children. Ask God to forgive you. Ask God to have mercy on you. Because you do not do well. There are greater and brighter days ahead. A very special good afternoon to you. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya Banner of Love Ministries International. It is a great honor and a great privilege for me to come out this afternoon to speak with you again. Thank you. Thank you very much for making Jordan and 3.9 FM, your number one station. Thank you for being there. So happy to know that you are there. The Lord bless you. The Lord mm -hmm. keep you. May His countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. Mm -hmm. We pray and declare that the conflicts that are within you, around you, around our nation, that as we continue to give Him praise, God will perfect them and resolve all of them for us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And as we look at others with their land and gold, perhaps you don't have. I assure you that weeping, Psalm 30 verse 5 says that weeping may endure for the night, but your joy has come. Your joy has come. Amen. Your joy has come. Amen. Don't spoil it with murmuring. Don't spoil it with thanksgiving. Don't spoil it with complaining. Don't spoil it with evil thoughts. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Give him the praise. Amen. And of course, having said all of this, a heart that does not have Jesus inside of it will not know how to truly, truly appreciate God. Because in the center of that heart is self. And self, anytime, any day, does not give room for God. Self does not give room for the fact that, oh, I should thank God. 
In fact, self arrogates itself success. Self says, it is by my grace, my strength, I have come this far because I'm hardworking, because I am this, because I am that. So we've come to say, no, 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 no. Let Jesus into your heart. And you have Jesus, and you are facing challenges. James 1, I give you a reading assignment with James chapter 1. Read the whole of it. But especially verse 1 to 5. James 1 to says, count it all joy when you face trials, temptations, tribulations. It is an exam. You will pass your exam. Amen. I will pass my exam in the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. And the various challenges we face will not overwhelm us. They will not carry us away. They will not take us from God, but to God. They will not make us run away from God, but to God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Receive strength. Receive Amen. grace Amen. to overcome. To Amen. overcome. To overcome. To overrule. To be triumphant indeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. That the songs of thanksgiving we not just come because I want to thank God. They say, thank God. No, it will be spontaneous because things of joy, things of happiness, things of goodwill will be what will happen to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. We are in the Umba months. Moons are some considered as Umba months, but I prophesy over your life. We have passed through September, October, we are going. It will go. November, we come. December, we come. The Umba months will never be Umba for us. But they are the best of the season. Mm -hmm. What we could not achieve in January, February, March, mm -hmm. April, May, June, mm -hmm. July, August, September, mm -hmm. we will begin to achieve them in this month of September, October, mm -hmm. November, December, because it will be the very best of the months. Mm -hmm. I like the radio very much. In the radio, there is room for fast forward. We press the fast forward button and we say that destiny move forward, mm -hmm. that life move forward. Mm -hmm. No more stagnation, no more limitation mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Whatsoever be the forces of retrogression mm -hmm. that is afflicting our country, mm -hmm. we neutralize them. We say no to them. Mm -hmm. We disallow them. And where they are man made, God will intervene. In God will embarrass them. Mm -hmm. God will disgrace them. Mm -hmm. Where they refuse to be repentant in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Nigeria will not go under. You will not go under in the name of Jesus. The defender and protector of Israel will protect us, will defend us all in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Psalm 121 verse 1 says, We lift up our eyes unto him, the almighty God, from whence cometh our help. The question now is, from where does your help come from? We present to you Jesus. Jesus is the way maker. It is Jesus that can make the difference. It is Jesus that can make all things possible. It is Jesus that makes the impossible possible. How do you know him? Very, very simple. The Bible says that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Mm -hmm. But Christ Jesus has come that we have life and have it more abundantly. John 10, 10 reminds us that the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus has come to give you laughter, to give you joy, to make mm -hmm. the crooked straight. Don't give up on that husband, on that wife, on that boy, on that girl. Don't give up on our nation, Nigeria, on the nations of the world. The keeper, the owner, is not sleeping. He will wake and defend his own. He will wake and protect his own. He will wake and provide for his own. You may repeat after me if you've made up your decision to follow Jesus, because it is only him that can give you true everlasting joy. You say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive me my sin me. and have mercy on me. Having said that prayer is simple, but the simplicity and the effectiveness lies in your sincerity. If you are sincere, I assure you that your life will never, never remain the same again. Mm -hmm. You must get a Bible, a book Bible, and a daily devotional that will help you to study the Word. The Word is God talking to you. The Word is God speaking to you. The Word, the Bible is God talking to you. God talking to you. As you read the word, you are not a child of God. He will be speaking to you, be talking to you. Of course, you have need of a Bible. We've said that, and a Bible-believing church. Don't mind that there are fake pastors around. That shows you that there is an original. When you pray, God will show you the way to the original. The studio line to call 070 39. Another studio line to call is 90
070-50-86-39-39. Another studio line to call is 90 Questions, comments, contribution, testimonies on this topic or any other topic that may be troubling you is welcome. We also have a WhatsApp number, which is also the marketing line. We are also ready to receive your WhatsApp messages. 09024204415 is the WhatsApp number. 09024204415 is the WhatsApp number. You can send in your messages. And please, this program is subject to sponsorship. We will appreciate it most deeply if you can partner with us to make sure that this message goes viral, that it is reachable to a lot of people. Some have been calling for a replay. It's money. If we have sponsorship, why not? We can replay it even 10 times. It's money that we speak. Above all, we wish you to please bring your adverts to Jordan 93.9 FM your number one fire reaching station that is affordable. The number to call again is 90 24 15 the marketing line and the WhatsApp number. For your comments, contribution 70 80 Another studio line to call 90 Pastor Magdalene Osada is in the house. Pastor Magdalene, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ma. Mm -hmm. A very pleasant Sunday to you, Ma, and all our esteemed listeners. Yes. And a very pleasant independence to our beloved nation, Nigeria. In whatever we see, whatever we hear. We, the Bible tells us, it says, looking up to Jesus, the, the author, author and the finisher of our, of our faith. So let's get connected to the Almighty God. When we are connected to the Almighty God, everything has our signature to say there will be nothing. In fact, there is nothing too hard for God to do. All our cases that look like a, a Zuma rock that cannot be climbed, when we look unto God, those Zuma rock, God Himself will bring them down to our own feet. God of heaven will help us with grace and mercy. We continue to sustain us as we open our heart of gratitude to Him for the good, for the bad, for the ugly. Our lifestyle will never be the same again. Even where we are, where we are grateful to Him, both for the one He has done, both for the one He has not done. As our mommy has taught us, He praises. When he in, uh, 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 inhabits our praises, that praises that come from our hearts, even out of uh, out of nothing, we see nothing we are dancing for, we see nothing we are praising him for. And himself, look at, I have not done anything for this man, I have not done anything for this woman. Why praising me? Why praising me? I think he will not find reason why he should stand up to inhabit your praise and then do that which you are not even expected. It's my prayer that as you cultivate the habit of gratitude to him, our lifestyle will not be the same again, in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. I praise the wrong person. Someone said that if you are not grateful, if you are not grateful to God, or if you are not grateful to someone who has done you good, you say you are a great fool. It's my prayer that we not be a great fool. And the fool say that there is no God. Out of what? Out of a ignorance of giving thanks, giving glory that is due to God unto his name. I want to read the book of Psalm 30. And no wonder, when I look at the life of David, at the end of it all, God, God said that David is a man after his whole heart. David was always praising God at all times. He's never tired, he's never discouraged. And this, this David, he said, he's not to be a man of war, he's a warrior. 
I know mother is never lose any any battle in his lifetime. Why? Because he have the uh, uh, the the heart of a uh, gratitude to God. The good times, in bad times, in lovely times, is he it uh, praises and thanksgiving is always part of his lifestyle. So in Psalm thirty, verse one, he said, "I will restore thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up." And has not made my foes to rejoice over me. I don't know the challenges you are facing today. I don't know the, how many of your enemy, the foes that are uh, 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 that are around you and within. Yeah, David is saying, I will, I will praise the name of the Lord. I will give him thanks because he has lifted me up above my enemies. He has lifted me up above my failure. He has lifted me up above my setback. He has lifted me up above all the enemies that are around me now within. And God did not allow them to triumph over me. God did not allow them to rejoice over me. In verse 2, he said, Oh Lord my God, I cry unto thee, and thou hast heed me. In case you are sick, spiritually, physical sickness, material sickness, marital sickness, financial sickness, cry unto God as David did. David cried unto him, and God hid him. It is my prayer as you pray, as you cry unto God, because that God is forever, is a, is an eternal God, the God that cannot die, the God that lives forever and ever. As you cry to him, as he hid David, he will hear you. The Bible mm. makes it clear to us that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The God that hid David is here alive today. He is there with you. Call on him, cry to him. As he heard David, he will hear you in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 3, he said, Oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave. Ah, many has been our afflictions, many has been our trials, many has been our temptation. If no God who has been on our side, by now, <coughs> most of us would have been in the grave. He said, Oh Lord, you have brought up my soul from the grave. Thou hast kept me alive, that I should not go down to the pit. God has kept you alive. God has kept Nigeria alive. If not God who has been on the side of Nigeria, by now we don't know what will become our fate. But because of God who has been on our side, he did not allow me, he did not allow you, he did not allow the whole nation to sink in the pit. He says, sing unto the Lord. Because of the gift of life he has given to you. Because he has given you a reason to live, to see the good of the land. To see what is happening, what is what he, even what is yet to do, he has kept you alive to, to, to see them. He says, Sing unto the Lord, all you saints of his, and give thanks at the remembrance of his uh, holiness. As you remember the holiness of God, give him thanks. It's not all God, it's not every God that are holy, the, except the Almighty God. Every other God, that the God that steal, that the God that destroy, that the God that, uh, that suck blood, but the Almighty God. That is holy, that is righteous, that is able to see you through in every circumstances of life. When you remember his goodness, when you remember all his promises, when you remember his nature as a father who is always caring for us, you need to give him thanks. He said, for his anger endure, he just for a moment, in his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night. The joy cometh in the morning. On behalf of you there that are hearing the sound of our voice, on behalf of beloved nation Nigeria, our weeping have endured enough. Now the joy is coming. The joy is coming. So why get discouraged? So why uh, be ungrateful to the Almighty God? If you are ungrateful to Him, it means you are going back to square one. God will say, okay, since you are, your lifestyle, your attitude is always ungrateful, so continue it that way. But if you have to, if you have a change of mind uh, of mind today, to change that ungrateful attitude to gra to, 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 to gratefulness, God Almighty will stand up on your behalf to make your expectation to fulfillment in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, and in my prosperity, I said, I shall never be moved. Don't be moved in your pay, in your prosperity, in whatever you are passing through, you should never be moved. Stand still and see the salvation of God. Stand still and see the goodness of the land. Stand still and see the favor of God upon your life, upon this nation. It is not yet over. God has not finished with Nigeria. God has not buried it. God has not write off Nigeria. Please don't write it off and don't write off yourself. God is still by ourselves. He can still do wonders in our lives. He has never forgotten us. He has never forsaken us. He has never hidden his face from us. And he's not going to do that. Please don't let us write off ourselves. 
God out of Nigeria. It is still well with us. Believe in God. Believe in the Lord Savior Jesus Christ. And it shall be well with us in the mighty name of Jesus. In verse 7, we say, Lord, by thy favor, thou hast made my mate to stand strong. Thou did hide thy face, and I was troubled. I cried I cry to thee, O Lord. I entered and unto the Lord I made supplication. Make your supplication. Make your request know unto the Almighty God that may heaven and air, whose nothing is difficult for him to do. He said, What profit is there in my blood? When I go down to the peak, shall the dust praise God? No. Shall he declare the truth? No. It is only the living. Only the living can praise the Lord. Only the living can praise the Lord. All oh, those who are dead cannot praise you. Only the living can praise the Lord. In verse 10, he, he prayed. He said, Hear, O oh Lord, and have mercy upon me, Lord. Be thou my helper. Call on God to be your helper. Many of us, we put our trust in, uh, in, our, uh, 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 in our fellow human being. Uh, our bro my brother is there. My president is there. Uh, my governor. My brother is a governor. And then at the end of the day, when the strength of the governor could not uh, help, when the strength of a uh, president failed, they would begin to blame them. Remember the word of God say, Woe unto him that put his or her trust on a man. God is expecting us to put our trust in him when we trust God. Nothing. There will be nothing that it will be too difficult for him to do. Let's trust God for our brother who is a governor. Let's trust God on behalf of our president. They can do better too. And we can also do better things for others. May God of heaven give us grace to be faithful, to follow him, to abide by his word. And at the end of it all, we, uh, our helpers will locate us. And God will raise us as helpers to others. And so shall it be unto us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Psalm 30 verse 11, we say, Thou hast turned for me my money into dancing. May God turn your money to dancing today. As you give him praise, as you uh, uh, cultivate the habit of gratitude to him, he will turn your money to dancing. And thou hast put off my sackcloth, every sackcloth that you are wearing, spiritual sackcloth, material sackcloth, as an individual, as a family, as a nation. God Almighty will remove them and get mm. you with gladness of heart. Mm. And to the end, that my glory may sing praise to thee and not be silent. O oh Lord my God, I will give thanks unto thee forever. Let us give thanks to God forever so that God Almighty, our glory will not be silent. Our stars will continue to shine and shine and shine. The enemy will not put off our light. God, the enemy will not put off our glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Have a blessed Sunday. God Almighty bless you. And we say a very, very loud Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor Magdalena Sadai. A very, very good contribution there. He who does not give God the praise, he who is not thankful, she said, is a great fool. We shall not be fools in the name of Jesus. But we shall take stock and return all the praise to God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Zero seven zero five zero eight six three nine three nine is the studio line to call. Zero seven zero five zero eight six three nine three nine. Another studio line to call is zero nine zero one eight four two. Five five one seven zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven. The calls are coming in, but they are cutting off. Please call again. Would like to hear from you. Questions, comments, contribution, testimony on this topic or on any other topic that may be troubling you. The Holy Spirit is in the house to give an answer. Zero nine zero one eight four two five five one seven. Our WhatsApp number to call zero nine zero two four two zero four four one five is the marketing line and the WhatsApp number. Let's send our contributions. We don't take an offering will be a part of the program by sending a donation to 90 
you call that number, you send them a WhatsApp message, they will tell you what to do. We continue to say that a lot of people do not give God the praise, like stanza 3 said. He said, when we look at others with their land and gold, that means we are not contented. When you are not contented, you will never be grateful. You will never be satisfied with your wife, with your husband, or with the children. You will have reason to complain and to murmur. But Philippians 4, 11 says, In whatsoever, whatsoever, please underline the word, whatsoever state I am, dear with be content. In our nation, Nigeria, yes, there is a million and one things to be done. But if you look again, we have every reason, like Mr. President has listed, to say thank you. To give God the praise, to give him the glory. Because number one, we are in the privacy of our homes. Yes, there are those that are displaced. But again, they are alive. They are well. And in the no distance time, God will return them back to their ancestral homes in the name of Jesus. Amen. He says, in whatever state... That means the state may be good, it may not be good when you give him praise. Like the song that is playing at the background. He is the God of all flesh. There is nothing too difficult for him to do. That's your situation, that problem. Our nation is not difficult for him. Under the twinkle of an eye, he can change it. India was a third world country like us growing up. We used to laugh at the Indians. Because they came here as teachers, as M m m not high, but today they are MDs in our nation, Nigeria, yes. And they are a world power in their country, yes. China was also a country that we laughed at. Nobody wanted to buy anything in China. It's uh, China. <laughs> Who wants to buy China? We we'll laugh and laugh and laugh. But today, China is number one in the world. Very pursue with America. CNN, Al Jazeera, and others will not tell you um, this is number one, but they will just put them together. They say America, China, they are together. But the truth of the matter is that China has come a long way. Come a long way. And every day we keep saying thank you to China because if not for China, a lot of the products we have will not be able to afford them. But with China, we can have phones, we can have so many things. So they were a third world country. They made it to make it. Indonesia made it. Singapore made it. Singapore's own story is even uh, something else because they are not an oil producing country. But they are the world's third largest exporters of petroleum products. They will buy cheaply, refine them, and sell exorbitantly. Of course, Nigeria now don't even have refinery. We, we export and bring back in. And a lot of the problem is tied up in the petrochemical industry. No light, no this, no that. But we have every reason to be grateful, like Mr. President have said. We have every, every reason to be thankful. Because tomorrow's for us. Brighter days ahead, light is shining on our path. For we have seen the light, we will rise and shine. Jesus is the light, tomorrow, tomorrow holds for us. Brighter days ahead, light is shining on our path. For we have seen the light, we will rise and shine. Jesus is the light. That's the best song of my Bishop Daniel. Tomorrow holds better days. There is a new Nigeria. Nigeria will not continue like this, no. It can never be the same story anymore. No. Amen. If you listen to the news, you look around you, you listen to the radio, you see that there is a change. There is a dynamic revolution happening. We have been praying for a revolution, but a bloodless one. 
when we talk about revolution, we're not talking about bloody revolution where you go and do demonstration, then you burn things. You... No, 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 no. Anybody call you out to do demonstration, don't go. Don't go. Stay in your house. But when you pray, you are praying and I'm praying. God will send help our way. God will send. It will not happen overnight. Mm. Whosoever we, 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 we bring in, it will not happen overnight because there is a lot of damage. But the important thing is we will not be in the right path. You're already in the path, but we enter there properly in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. As you pray and as I pray, as we look very, very well before we cast our vote, as we refuse to be down, next week, by God's grace, we'll bring you an interesting topic. <laughs> Who moved my cheese? <laughs> A very interesting book. If you've not read it, please read it. Next week, by God's grace, we shall look at it. Who moved my cheese is an interesting book. That means we'll no more stay and be wondering, ah, hey, what happened? Hey, what, why is it like this? Oh, this. Crying over spilled milk. Crying over the cheese we have eaten. No. But we shall begin to look at the way forward. Like you listen, there are those who have been on the forefront offering solutions, bringing answers to our various challenges, showing the way forward. Mm -hmm. We are saying that by the special grace of God, they will not be theories only, Amen. but they shall be practicalized. Amen. Nigeria will put them, them into into in, in, into action, mm -hmm. and the challenges, the problems Nigeria see, as we begin to do these things, there will be no more. Mm -hmm. Leaders like Lee Kuan Yew of 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 Singapore, Chairman Mao of of China, a lot of them, even the the <laughs> Donald Trump called him the rocket man. They call themselves rocket man of North Korea. His grandfather was the one who did a lot of things. And today they are a silent world power on their own. Nigeria will overtake all of them. Mm -hmm. Nigeria will be a world-class leader. Mm -hmm. Nigeria, mm -hmm. Already, already. You see, we are not moved by the, the brain drain. They say there is a brain drain. It's not a brain drain if you look at it again. They are going there to showcase the best of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. Already you find in UK, Nigeria, a Nigerian is a minister. In America, two, 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 three, almost five of our children are in the White House. Mm -hmm. So Hallelujah. as they are going, they are going to be excellent people in diaspora. Gone are those days where they say, ah, anybody that steal abroad this or that slap a policeman, look, mm -hmm. ah, it's a Nigerian. All the bad, bad things. No, we are no, no more known for them. all those bad things. Mm -hmm. They are now coming to us for the best. Yes. Doctors, nurses, Hallelujah. scientists. Mm -hmm. You see them coming to look for the best brains. The other day, even um, uh, Mark Zuckerberg came to Lagos and he said, spend time with our boys. <laughs> our Yahoo Yahoo boys thought him one thing or two. <laughs> yes, so we have the power. We have the brain. Mm -hmm. We have what it takes. God and so don't God. give up on Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So we close by saying in Philippians 6, 11, Philippians 4, 11, sorry, Philippians 4, 11, that in whatever state you are in, be contented. Does that mean you are satisfied with that state? No, it simply means you know there is a bigger and a better tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Are you out there? You don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior? Mm -hmm. If you don't know Jesus, you'll never be satisfied. Mm -hmm. You'll be hungry for more in the wrong way. you have a Ujukokoro big eye. I want to begin to do things the wrong way. Stealing, killing, maiming, you tracking, no. Accept Jesus. Self, a, Jesus is the way. Person. Jesus is the truth. In Jesus, your life can never, you never remain the same again. You, you may repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus forgive me my sin. Have me. mercy on me. His mercy is available. You are forgiven. Amen. Get a Bible. Get a daily devotional. We keep emphasizing the Bible because voices we begin to you begin to hear voices. Which one is the voice of God? If you don't know the voice of God, you will not know. You think it's, it's Jesus. All those fake pastors, you think it's Jesus. But when you read your Bible, the Bible, original Bible, is God speaking to you. Don't look for any other hidden book anywhere. No, no, no. Forget all those seven books of Moses. Just read the main Bible, only that Bible. You will find and know God's voice. The Lord bless you. The Amen. Lord keep you. May his containers of favor and of mercy never leave us all. As the Lord bless our most beloved nation, Nigeria, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We pray for our most beloved nation and pray for the Jordan family, wherever they are, it is well with you all. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. The Lord bless us all. Amen. Keep us Amen. and keep them in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you very, very much for fellowshipping with us. Next week, 12 to 1, by the special grace of God, is another date. We will continue on this series in our nation. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> nothing is too hard, nothing is too hard for you to do. Nothing is too hard, nothing is too hard, nothing is too hard for you to do. And you are, you are, nothing is too hard for you to do. You are, you are, nothing is too hard for you to do. And you are, yeah, nothing is too hard for you to do. You are, you are, nothing is too hard for you to do. Green is too hard. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too hard for you to do. It's too hard. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too hard, Nothing is too hard for you to do. And there is nothing too hard. Nothing is too hard. Nothing is too hard. Thank you. Uh, let's stop falling. No, there is nothing too hard for you to do. There is nothing too hard for you to do. There is nothing for you. Thank you, thank you. For you to do. <laughs> There is nothing too hard for you.